to commodity or to security? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the market to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous speculate. I'm kidding. I'm Happy Monday, hodlers. Welcome to the weekly recap. A debt ceiling is shattered. Poof, gone for two years. The US economy adds 335,000 new jobs versus the expected 190,000. And US House reps seek to muzzle the SEC via yet another new crypto bill. Welcome to the recap where we bring you the most important and interesting news nuggets of the week. The question that's been burning a hole in everyone's digital asset investment strategy over the last few years, which ones are securities? and which ones are commodities. Well, I think everybody's agreed that decentralized as it is, Bitcoin is and will be a commodity. But what about the rest? Determining a legal framework and methodology to establish this is what a new comprehensive crypto bill is seeking to do. The new draft was submitted on Friday by the congressional leaders of the House Financial Services Committee and Agriculture Committee, but has yet to garner democratic support. Why is the Agricultural Committee involved? Because it is the Agricultural Committee that has historically legislated commodities, which used to be cattle and corn, and now include Bitcoin. Senator Warren of Massachusetts also has a crypto bill of her own, but she's having a little bit of trouble getting traction and can't find any sponsors. And maybe that's because nobody on the Hill wants to return her phone calls. Sorry, Liz, better luck next time. BTC, unlike for example, DeFi tokens this week, has been experiencing unusually low volatility as compared to its history or recently equities and has begun to return to pre-pandemic level correlations to stocks, i.e. less correlated. And though May added far more jobs to the US economy than expected, acting as a headwind to the Fed's efforts to curb inflation, the Fed may actually be considering a rate hike pause for June, just to give the market a little bit of breathing room to figure out how their work has actually been affecting the economy over the last 14 months. And it should be noted that over the last 14 months, all of the economic pain caused by the Fed in their efforts to remove liquidity from the system in order to curb inflation, which they call quantitative tightening, has all but completely been undone since the bank started failing a few months ago. Yikes. So much for that idea. Ah, uh, but don't stop now, you 12 federal bank governors, you rascals, you. Not when you're just getting started. BTC with a dominance of just under 50%, closed last weekly candle down 3.5% and since last night has lost another 5%. Ethereum closed last weekly candle last night down 1% and has since also lost 4.5%. Be sure to check out ndax.io forward slash blog for links to these stories as well as the entire breakdown. Start your free account at ndax.io today.